I sent a, a text to Elon Musk recently. Elon went out publicly and he said, you know, if you're in a bad meeting, stand up and walk out of the meeting. And I sent him a text. I'm like, that's stupid. I'm Cameron Harold. I'm the founder of the CEO Alliance, I'm the author of soon to be five books. And uh, I coach CEOs and entrepreneurial companies all over the world. I've done keynote speaking events all over the world. And I'm a dad and I'm just trying to make it through life. My first book in Double Double, it was so much work to get it out. It was so much work to edit it myself. It was so much work to type it all up myself. It was so much work to get feedback from authors. It was so much work to structure stuff, to decide what was gonna go where. Um, you know, some chapters were like 30 pages and others were two. Um, like I just didn't have any idea what I was doing. And then, then it was like, where do I get the pre-press done and the design and copy and how do I get it set up on Amazon? It was all this stuff that I don't care about all those details. It just needs to be done. Um, and, I, and I'd worked with a company called Greenleaf Books on my first project and they're kind of a hybrid between a traditional publisher and self-publishing. And it was, it was hard. I mean, it was a good process, but it was hard. My total time on, on meeting suck. Again, it's all my content. It's all out of my head. It was all me speaking, but I think I maybe spent 13 or 14 hours total from I'm going to write a book about meetings until the book was published. They took the, my content for Meetings Suck and broke it up into three ways. The first was how to run meetings. The second was how to show up and attend and participate in meetings. And the third was all the meetings you need to run. And it, it ended up being, I think originally I was like, oh, you know, five people in a company will read Meetings Suck. And now companies are buying it for every single employee because of the way that Scribe helped me flip it. And that was, um, that wasn't my idea. That was literally from, I think it was from the writer. He was like, and I was like, holy shit, that's huge. Because now they're literally buying boxes and boxes and buying it in bulk. I was going through some pretty big stuff personally. I was going through a divorce and I wasn't really engaged mentally. It was when I was writing Vivid Vision. I was really struggling with just getting up in the morning. I was struggling. I was, you know, going, doing, doing sessions with a shaman and going to a therapist and I was trying to raise my kids part time and, and going through this divorce. And I felt bad because I wasn't mentally there. And I had a couple times where the writer was like, you know what, why don't we take a break and let's like rebook a call when, when you're ready to do this again. And I was like, dude, thank you. Like they were really, they got me and they were in tune with me as a human being, which I didn't anticipate at all. One of my biggest surprises was no one actually cares if you're an Amazon bestseller or a Wall Street bestseller or a New York Times bestseller. I think people have wasted so much money trying to be a bestseller instead of actually having a really good book. So I, I like the fact that I paid Scribe to have a really tight book and then it markets itself. I was nervous around, around whether or not uh, it would be taken seriously, you know, whether having it done by Scribe versus like, a, you know, a, a traditional publisher like a Penguin Portfolio or a Wiley or somebody, whether it would be look better, but way off on that. That was um, something not even to worry about. And I, what I love about doing it with Scribe is my cost per book, I think I'm around $1.70 per book hardcover, is um, about $7 cheaper than someone like Simon Sinek was paying for Penguin Portfolio. I think his cost per book was like $8 for, for Start With Why versus doing like $1.70 with Scribe. That's a lot of extra money that goes into my pocket. And when I, when I already had a platform for doing speaking events and I have an audience buying you know, a thousand of my books, that's a lot of extra money that I'm making um, versus having to pay $8 per book, I only have to pay $1.60 per book. So I can sell them for 10 and make money. If I went with a traditional publisher, I could never make money selling them, you know, to speaking events. So that was been, that was huge for me too. If I gave out a thousand copies of my books at an event, my cost to give out a thousand copies is going to be $2,500, including shipping. Well, of all those thousand people that get a copy of my book, someone is going to hire me to coach them. That's 80,000 a year. Someone is going to hire me to speak at their event. That's 30,000 a year. So it's this no brainer business card. But if I handed out a thousand flyers or a thousand pieces of marketing material, nobody's hiring me. The book seems to be taken in a way that there's a huge ROI off that for sure. 
the impact's been huge. So I think the best example would be the COO Alliance. So I started this network called the COO Alliance. It's the only network in the, of its kind in the world for the second in command. You know, have all these groups for entrepreneurs, but there was nowhere for their COO to actually go and learn. So now I have all these COOs and they come to these events and they're getting copies of my book and they're meeting me and they're seeing me as this huge thought leader. And I think the books have, have put me up to a, a level way elevated than I should be. Um, but their CEO, who they admire, their CEO whose company they're building often doesn't have a book. So I'm like held in this, this level of esteem or level above. And, and it's really helped me build that entire brand. I got an email this morning from somebody who said, thank you so much for writing uh, your book, Vivid Vision. Thank you so much for introducing me to Jennifer Houday from Conscious Copy so she could help us draft our Vivid Vision. Um, I've taken my company to 100 plus employees and $300 million in sales, and your book has aligned everybody in the organization and made me a better leader. And that was an email I got from somebody who I don't even know who they are this morning. Like I get those all the time. Um, I had someone this morning at a conference grab me and point to one of my books and he goes, you have no idea how big of an impact this book is making in my business. Um, I get that all the time. That's been really cool. Because I can't get that from the one-on-one -on -one relationship. You know, I can't get that from coaching. I can't, I can't impact thousands or millions of people from coaching, but I can from, you know, meeting suck. Well, meeting suck is really the one that every company should be buying it for every single employee so they stop complaining about meetings. That's a huge impact. My favorite thing that's happened is, is unexpectedly that I actually enjoy writing books and I, I want to put more of them out. Um, I, after I did my first one, I was like, no way will I ever write a book. No way, no way. Uh, I'm up to five. I now know for sure I'll be doing one around this highs and lows of CEOs. You know, it's why entrepreneurs are very bipolar and why we ride this emotional roller coaster. I'm also pretty sure I'll do one on the CEO, COO relationship and how to trade, we kind of create that yin and yang relationship. Um, so I know I've got a couple more books in me and I, I think what the biggest surprise is, is just it's easy and that I actually like doing it. So I, I wouldn't have ever thought that and then I'm making money at them like I'm actually they all make good money. So that was a bit of a surprise too.